Hi, everybody. I'm Barry Johnston, Director of Business Development with Viking. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you to the Cruise Web for having me today. So I want to keep this brief. I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm going to talk about 25 minutes and give you an overview of Viking, paint a picture of what it's like to sail with us. I'll take a few questions at the end if we have time for them. And then you can always call back and talk to the travel advisors at the Cruise Web. They're experts. They know biking in and out. They can give you fantastic recommendations, help you customize your trip. So work with them, ask them questions, look at pricing for next year in 2025. We even have 2026 on sale for some of our sailings. So I'm going to show my screen now, and then we will get right into the program. So let's uh, do this. And here we go. So that looks like it's working. So thumbs up. And it's good, good news. So I want to let you all know we are a, a private company. Our chairman is Mr. Torsten Hagen. He's from Norway. And he calls Viking the thinking person's cruise. We are passengers who want to learn and experience the destination. And I'm going to paint a picture for what that's like for you today. Exploring the world in comfort is our tagline. And it's been our tagline for all 26 years that we've been in business. We have just experienced an anniversary back in August. So 26 years in business. So let's talk about river and ocean cruising with Viking today. So the, oops, there we go. So we have grown from a little small company that used to do four river cruises in 1997, four ships on, on one itinerary, right? So we've grown now to offer uh, over 150 different itineraries amongst all of our products. So we can travel the entire world, seven continents, 85 countries, 484 ports, even five great lakes. And these are the products that we do that on. It's all small ship focused cruising with biking. I'm going to talk about these top two in depth today. So on the left is our river cruising ships. Those are primarily in Europe, but we also do some exotic locations. Those are 190 passengers all the way down to 50 passengers. Small ship ocean cruising. We're going to talk more about that in detail today. Those are 930 passengers and sail all around the world. Identical vessels. There are nine of them. Bottom left and bottom right. I won't talk about Mississippi and Expedition today, but they are small ships too. 386 passengers on the Mississippi. We have five different itineraries available there. If you're interested about that in that product, talk to the cruise web. Expedition, we have two brand new expedition vessels, 378 passengers that head to Antarctica, as well as the Great Lakes. Those same ships do the Great Lakes, an amazing experience. So talk to the travel advisors about that product if you're interested. So about the Viking difference, we are really focused on the destination. The ships are amazing and you will love the ships. I'll show you a few images of them today, but the ship is meant to be your home away from home, your place to come back and relax after your day experiencing the destination. And we'll do things on board to bring the destination to you, but we're really focused about getting you to these places there in the world that you want to see for yourself and meet the people that live there. Find out how they go about their daily lives, what they do for work, you, you want to taste their food and their beverage. You want to hear their music, see their art, learn their history, walk through the footsteps of history through these amazing locations all over the world. That's what Viking is really about. We put it together to help you be that, that traveler that wants to learn. And we do it in a very comfortable way. Again, we are very relaxed. We have no formal nights at Viking, so casual clothing, um, country club casual at, at night in the main restaurants. Uh, but throughout the day, shorts, jeans, whatever makes you comfortable, feel free to do that. And we are adults only. We are age 18 plus at Viking. That's very well liked by our guests. And I do like the fact that we are 18 plus. These are a long list of our inclusive values. So I'm going to point out a few of these. I won't go through the whole list. Your travel advisor can, can give you more information. But there's one complimentary short excursion included uh, in every port of call with Viking. And that's going to be on the river cru cruises. It's approximately 24 people going out in a group, about 36 people going out in a group on ocean cruising. Uh, we have many other optional excursions that we programmed and put together that you can purchase from us. So if you'd like to go see some really beautiful destinations and experiences, you can do that through us too. And then self-exploration is always an option. We have a lot of our guests who go out and just explore cities on their own and come back to the ship. That's always something you have. Free Wi-Fi, all your onboard meals are included, beer, wine, and soft drinks are included during lunch and dinner, and more. 
So river cruising, let's dive into that, talk about about 10 to 15 minutes on river cruising. River cruising is a great way to experience Europe. It's your floating hotel going up and down the rivers, a highly rated product at Viking. So you see Connie Noss travelers and travel and leisure readers have voted us very highly and, and recognized us as number one. I wanted to share a few quick images about things that you can see and experience on the Rhine River, um, in France on the Seine, our Paris and Normandy itinerary. I'll show you some images from that. And then I'll show you some images from the Danube. Uh, on the Rhine, you can visit Kinderdijk. There are 19 windmills from the 18th century. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Spot. This is an included tour on most of our Rhine itineraries. You'll get a chance to see the Kinderdijk windmills. We have an optional excursion you can choose to do. Um, usually it takes place after or before, depending on the direction of travel. And this is going to be a, a Dutch cheese farm. So that's an additional add-on optional excursion you can purchase if you'd like to see the Dutch cheese farm while you're there in the area. In the Middle Rhine Gorge, a gorgeous spade. Uh, it, it's, it is fantastic. There are 40 castles in a 40-mile stretch here, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're going to sail through this area during daylight. Our program director, he or she, will, will talk about each castle as we go by, give you a little bit of their history. This is... The Marksburg Castle, we do offer an optional excursion you can purchase to go see and walk through the optional uh, through the uh, Marksburg Castle here. We rate all of our excursions by exertion level. We do rate this one as demanding. We do motor coach up to the top of the hill there, so you don't have to climb the entire hill. But once you're there in the castle, there are there is some uneven ground. There's also 300 steps to traverse, but it is the best preserved castle in the Middle Rhine Gorge, and it is one that you can walk through with that optional experience through biking. So consider it if you're up for those steps. This is an amazing castle. You will love walking through. It's the best preserved. It was never captured in battle. Really something to see. Strasbourg, France is my favorite city on the Rhine. We are, one side of the river is Germany. The other side is France here. We're in La Petite, France. This is a little area, the oldest portion of Strasbourg. So we'll walk through the old town on your included tour. You'll see the famous Gothic cathedral with its one spire, an amazing food town. Grab some bites to eat and sample while you're here. This is in the Alsace region of France. So fantastic white wines, a really um, wonderful city. I hope you like it as much as I do. Heading over to Paris now, the heart of France, the city of light. We have a 168 passenger ship, uh, four of them actually, that sail on the Seine. And we have the closest docking location to the Eiffel Tower. It's a 10 minute walk from the ship to the Eiffel Tower. The ship will be docked overnight here in Paris on day one. And you'll wake up on day two with an included tour. So you have day one to explore on your own. A great day to go to the Musée d'Orsay or to the Louvre or to the Eiffel Tower if you'd like to do that. Day seven, this is an eight day cruise as we're sailing back into France. You're gonna have the afternoon and evening free there too. So you'll be able to experience more self-exploration. We have an included tour in the morning on day seven, which is Chateau Mamasson. That's one of Napoleon and Josephine's three chateaus. And they spent the most time there. 98% of the furniture in the chateau is authentic to when they lived in the mansion. On the way out to Rouen, we're going to stop in Gévernay. So you'll get to see Monet's gardens and the, the works that inspired the, the great master, right? And then a day in in Normandy. So we'll depart early in the morning from Rouen on deluxe motor coaches and an 11 and a half hour included tour with lunch. We visit a museum. We step foot on Omaha Beach. We'll walk through the cemetery. There'll be a wreath laying ceremony with taps played. It's a very moving experience. You will enjoy your day. I experienced this in 2019, the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Next year, 2024, is the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings. So Keep that in the back of your mind if you'd like to go during one of the anniversary years. That's a moving experience. Over to the Danube. This is Passau, Germany. It's a town where three rivers come together. That church that you see with the green onion domes at St. Stephen's, that is the largest pipe organ anywhere in Europe, is right there in that building. They do a, a concert. They sell tickets for every day at 1230, Monday through Friday, some Saturdays. It's eight heroes to see that concert. It's a 30-minute concert. You feel the music. That pipe organ is huge. This quay is where we dock right here in Passau. Your included tour will take you on a tour through 
through the city. You'll learn the history of it. It's a, a wonderful little town here. I like to show this quay because this is not unique for Passau. You'll see this throughout the, the, the towns and cities of Europe. We are docked in prime locations. We're going to be right in the heart of most cities. You'll be able to walk right from your ship into the city. This is a privileged access experience a little further down the Danube in Krems, Austria. This is the Gottwig Abbey, a very important abbey during the Habsburg Empire. And you see one of the Habsburg emperors in this fresco that's over here. That's a giant fresco that's in one of the buildings here. They grow a tremendous amount of grapes on the property and they make wine. So there's a wine tasting that should leave the abbey. Uh, this is, again, privileged access. Only Viking offers the Gottfried Abbey and a chance to see this very important monastery where they first began construction in the 11th century. Um, really a moving experience too. In that Bacal Valley, this is a stretch of the of the Danube River where there is tremendous amount of grape production. These are vineyards that you see on both sides of the river here. This is the little town of Dernstein and the, the castle ruins here, uh, really gorgeous spot. So 17 mile stretch of the river, you'll hear our program director, he or she will tell you more about the, the places and towns that you're passing by in this historic area of the river. Vienna itself is amazing. We have many itineraries that overnight in Vienna. So if you are one of those, you have more time to explore. Our included walking tour takes you through the old town to St. Stephen's Cathedral. You can just feel the music of Mozart and Strauss. Wonderful Austrian food here too. Many other optional excursions that you can do in Vienna, including Schonbrunn Palace. We have a tour for there you can purchase through us. We have a wine celebration, evening dinner in the Hurtigan. Uh, uh, it is a beautiful little um, vineyards with restaurants in the front. Uh, the Hurtigan dinners are fantastic. And then we offer privileged access. We are supporters of the, the Vienna Boys Choir. So if there is a performance of the Vienna Boys, Boys Choir that corresponds with your days in port, that will be an optional excursion you can purchase through by here. In Budapest, Hungary, a city everyone should see, really beautiful. This is the, we're on Buda Castle side, Fisherman's Bastion here. That's the parliament building across the way. Gorgeous at night. Museums, uh, it's an astounding city. Head to the Grand Market, buy some souvenirs and fresh paprika. Uh, bring that home. You can make some Hungarian goulash. We actually have recipes on our website from all over the world where we travel. And there's a great goulash recipe on the Viking website. Christmas markets are a great time to go to Europe. We're approaching the holiday season. It's not too far away. You'll begin to think about holidays. Now, we're practically sold out for this Christmas market season. There might be one or two cabins here or there, but we do have 2024 and 2025 Christmas markets available. There's six different Christmas market cruises that take place at various sailing dates from late November right up to the 22nd, 23rd of December. So late November, 20, 22nd, 23rd December. This is Vienna that you see here, a uh, beautiful city. And you'll love the markets with the great crafts and food stalls and glue vine. It's a magical time of year. There are many different itineraries to choose from at Viking. These are our, our top three. This is the Rhine getaway that does Amsterdam to Basel, visiting the Netherlands, Germany, France, and Switzerland. We offer pre and post hotel packages, hotels, with a biking desk right in the hotel with select hours in the afternoon, as well as usually these have an included tour or some optional tours you can purchase. And your travel advisor at the cruise boat can tell you all about the pre and post extensions. We have all the way up to 2025 available for all three of these itineraries I'm about to show you. On the Rhine getaway here, we have Lake Como, Lake Lucerne, Amsterdam as the pre or post extension. And we have the Romantic Danube. I love this itinerary. Regensburg to Budapest or Budapest to Regensburg on the Danube. We have extensions available in Nuremberg, an extension available in Prague, even a Prague and Nuremberg half and half. You can do two nights in Prague, two nights in Nuremberg before or after your cruise. And the same in Budapest. We offer extensions there all the way out to 2025 on sale. If you can't decide between the Rhine and the Danube, this is the Grand European Tour. This is Amsterdam to Budapest or Budapest to Amsterdam, sailing on the Rhine and the Danube and then the Main and the Main Danube Canal in between. A great cruise. This actually has the highest number of first time river cruisers for any of our itineraries. This is the ship we utilize on the rivers of Europe. This is um, the long ship. We'll use this on the Rhine, on the Danube, on the Mosul, on the Main, uh, on the Rhone in the south of France and in the Bordeaux region. Your floating hotel going up and down the the rivers. Just three decks. We have 
full suites all the way down to standard state rooms. The Aqua Beach Terrace at the front, I want to point that out. I'll show a, a picture of that a little bit later, but that's our second dining venue. Uh, it is a, a great ship. Your, your cr crew is going to take one care of you. You're going to miss your chef and your stateroom attendant and your wait staff when you get back home. As I mentioned earlier, it is about exploring the world in comfort. You see these guests coming down very casual attire, shorts, jeans are fine during the day. We say country club casual in the evening. It's your quiet place to come back and enjoy a serene, understated, elegant design to our ships. This is the main atrium where you saw those folks coming down the steps in that picture before. Light-filled spaces, our main restaurant straight ahead. Upstairs is the lounge. So let's go check those out. This is the restaurant. Let's talk just briefly about food here. Breakfast, lunch, dinner is available here. Our food is outstanding at Viking. Food and wine put together their list of the top 11 cruise lines for culinary experiences back earlier this year in May when Viking was number one. So at dinner, we have multiple choices. We have uh, courses, we have appetizers, entrees, and desserts. There's always available American classics. And then there's regional choices for each of those that's going to change daily. So you can mix and match between the American side. You can pick an American appetizer, a, a regional entree, and back to an American dessert. Choose any combination you'd like. You'll love the food here. Wine, beer, soft drinks included during lunch and dinner. If you like premium wines, if you like cocktails, you can charge those back to your ship account or our Silver Spirits beverage package. It's just $25 per person per night for the beverage package, and your travel advisor can tell you all about that. I love to have a cup of coffee up in the Aqua Beach Terrace in the morning, especially when we're pulling into Port of Call, get a light breakfast up here and sit down. This is my favorite part of the ship, but we'll utilize this for lunch. The full dinner is available here, always casual up on the Aqua Beach Terrace. We have a grill up here too, so we usually do at least one lunch service up here in the Aqua Beach Terrace where we'll do some grilling of, of shrimp, chicken, other items, burgers, hot dogs, um, really a fun spot. The sun deck, um, we have 360 degree views up here, a walking track, two putting greens, as well as shuffleboard. So a little entertainment here too. State rooms offer fantastic choices from two room suites. Our most popular rooms are our veranda state rooms with two um, chairs and a table and a walkout veranda. We offer French balcony and we have standard state rooms. Your travel advisor can tell you about all the options and price those out for you. The journey. So this is a little bit of the, the itineraries that we offer. There's many here. Um, uh, we're three different rivers and, and two different areas in France that we cruise. We're on the Seine that we talked about. We're also on the Rhone in the south of France. We're in the Bordeaux region. We do the Elbe. We do the Douro. Um, many cruises on the Rhine, as well as the, the Danube, and a couple on the Mosul uh, and the Mine. And then we have Southeast Asia, we do exotics. So we have the Viking Saigon sailing on the Mekong River. We have several ships sailing in Egypt. The Egyptian ships are 82 passengers all the way down to 50 passengers, depending on which ship you're on. We have all the way out to 2026 available for Egypt. Egypt only, um, it's selling so well, we have 2026 open, so you can book that far out for Egypt. 12 days round trip Cairo. Under the ocean side, so we have nine beautiful ocean vessels that sail all around the world. They are fantastic. So they are the perfect size. Uh, they are not the 2,000, 4,000, 8,000 passenger ship. Our, our return passengers love the fact that it's the same design. They know their way around when they come back. They know where the, the restaurants are. They know where their staterooms are. Uh, very easy to get on and off the ship. Every single cabin. Every single stateroom is outside cabin. Every cabin has a full walkout veranda. So you have two chairs and a, balcony, uh, and a, and a table on your walkout veranda. I was on one of our cruises back in April, and it's so easy to get on and off, so we don't have lines. I, it took me two minutes to get off the ship from deck six, which is kind of high on the ship. Uh, deck seven is near the top, so I was deck six. Two minutes to walk down to the elevator, Take the elevator down to deck two, uh, walk through security, and be on the dock. Two minutes. That's uh, that's not an exaggeration. It's that simple. So great um, Scandinavian design elements again. Same things that you experienced uh, when we were talking about the river product, those images there. Understated elegance. It's all about relaxation and quiet, comfortable spaces. Art and literature and history abound. 
throughout the ships. This is the three-deck atrium in the middle of the ship. It's a, a nice spot to relax and unwind. You can maybe you met some new friends on one of your tours. Have a glass of wine here. Talk about your day. Listen to some entertainment. Uh, the, the dinner locations are near here, too. I'll talk more about food in a moment. I love the Explorer's Lounge. Two decks here, full glass windows, almost 180 degree views from here, from side to front to side. Um, just gorgeous. Entertainment here, too. Some music, a bar nearby. One of my favorite spots of the ship. The Winter Garden, we have an afternoon tea here included. Uh, this is great teas from around the world, as well as sandwiches and sandwiches and biscuits in late afternoon here in the Winter Garden. We have a pool on board with a retractable roof. We can open or close this depending upon the weather or where you may be sailing and what time of year you're sailing. We have an infinity pool at the back of the ship too, so you can feel like you're swimming right in your destination. You can be in this pool and look out to the horizon. I love the spa space. We have a large fitness center on our ocean ships. That's complimentary. This thermal suite in the spa is also complimentary. And it's about opening and closing the pores from hot experiences to cold experiences. There's a snow grotto, there's a, a hot sauna, there's a, a ice plunge um, bucket that you can, can pull and, and have ice cold water on you. But it's about, again, opening and closing the pores in the Scandinavian method. All the food on board is included. Great choices for dining from the main restaurant to two specialty restaurants to 24 hour room service. Momsen's Norwegian delis have the Norwegian waffles there in the morning with the caramelized goat cheese. Ah, love those. Historians, we have a main theater space on board that we utilize for productions in the in the evening, some entertainment, fair singing and, and music. This is that's something else we utilize in that same space. We'll have lectures from our resident historians that are traveling on board to be there for to help you learn. We are the Thinking Persons Cruise. They know this destination in and out. They even do small group sessions, and you can even schedule one on one time with them if you want to dive deeper. Stateroom choices abound from two room suites all the way down to a regular veranda uh, with the walkout veranda there with two chairs and a table. So you're I do recommend looking at two different categories um, for your stateroom. So talk to your travel advisor about that. Each category comes with different amenities. And look at the price points, look at the inclusions, decide what's best for you. Uh, if you are celebrating a milestone anniversary, maybe you want to splurge a little bit and, and, and look at that higher category. But, but start with two and then narrow it down to which one you prefer. That way you can see it, all the different amenities that come with them. Where do the ships go? We are very heavy in Scandinavia, Northern Europe, and the Mediterranean. So we have the Baltic. We have many cruises that touch on Norway, both in the summer months when it's 24 hours of daylight and the winter months when it's the Northern Lights. We do Iceland, an eight day that circumnavigates Iceland, New York to Iceland, the British Isles. We're in the Mediterranean year round. We do quiet season meds, so that's in the winter months. We have fewer people in the cities, good price points too. But we also do spring, summer, and fall. And we do everything from eight days to 22 days in the Mediterranean, Eastern Med, Western Med, Holy Land, Greek-centric cruises. There's options there for you. Here closer to home in the Americas and the Caribbean, we cruise out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, out of Fort Lauderdale, uh, Miami. We will do Panama Canal. We'll do the Caribbean. We do, we do the fall forward season on the St. Lawrence. So between the U.S. and Canada, Montreal to New York or New York to Montreal, we do Alaska during the summer months. We do the Hawaiian Islands. We do South America and the Chilean fjords over in Asia and Australia. So, of course, Australia, New Zealand, very popular cruise, 15 days. But we do we do India. We do Thailand. We do Japan. We do Hong Kong. Lots of options there. And then ocean and river voyage combinations. You can even board a Viking, the Rhine getaway, one of the cruises we talked about in Basel, Switzerland. Sail down the Rhine, visiting ports of call every single day, ending in Amsterdam. Then you'll board an ocean vessel in Amsterdam, and you'll do our Viking shores and fjords itinerary. that will take you to Denmark and then on up to, to Norway and, and in Bergen. So uh, some unique combinations there. Your, your travel advisor can check prices and dates when those are offered. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I mean, this was very quick and fast paced. Um, I've talked about 25 minutes, so I do see there are some questions, and there, there are more questions than I can get to, so I, I will answer a few of those. But uh, before I get to questions, let me share this screen here. This is, if I don't get to your question, 
give the cruise web a call at 1-800-377-9383. The travel advisors there really know biking in and out. They will be able to answer your questions, give you the best advice on the right itinerary for you, the right time of year to travel. There's so many choices. Our river cruises are mostly from March through December. Christmas markets cruises are going to be late November into to around the, the 22nd or 23rd of December. So uh, they'll be able to find the, the best the best for you. 2024 and 2025 are on sale for all of these products, river and ocean. And if I intrigued you about Mississippi or Expedition, the folks at the Cruise Web can tell you about those products too. So to questions, there's one question here, and I touched on it briefly, and let's dive more into Viking Air. The question is about, do I have to use your air? Can I do... Uh, what is Viking Air, what it's like. So let's talk about that. Yes, you can do independent air if you prefer to do air on your own. That's always an option. It doesn't affect your cruise fare. So your cruise fare stays the same. You can choose to do air with us or do air without us. So if you want to do independently, just that's no problem at all. If you want to use air through us, about 85% of our passengers do. We use, we have our own air department called Viking Air. We don't have our own airplanes though. So we are using Delta, American United and their international partners and booking contracted air for you. Um, so a schedule is issued 150 days before travel. You'll see upgrade options if you want to pay more. Uh, for a typical river cruise, our, our air starts at around $5.99, $6.99 per person round trip. Um, there can be some cruises where we offer even better pricing and even complimentary air. So your travel advisor can tell you about those. They're usually longer cruises when we offer those, those sales on air. Uh, but you'll see different choices for different schedules that would be more. And again, that starts at 150 days before travel. Your travel advisor can give you more details if you'd like to look at options even before that with the program we call Air Plus. And they'll be glad to explain that. I only have a couple of minutes left now. Um, I do see this is a, a really interesting question. I like this one. Uh, and, and it's fun for me to answer because the, the question is what you, you talked about optional excursions. What is your favorite excursion that you've done at Viking? I love fun questions like this. So my favorite excursion that I've ever done is on it's on the Rhine. It's in Strasbourg. I, I think I probably mentioned that that is my favorite city on the Rhine. I do love Strasbourg. I love to sit down at a sidewalk cafe and just watch people go by. But we offer a tour there called Taste the Best of Alsace. It's a seven and a half hour walking and eating tour. It is incredible. It, it runs about um, 125 euros. It's in that ballpark. I may be off a little bit. Uh, um, most of our optional excursions are priced from 50 to 125, 140 euros in that range per person. But this is a seven and a half hour tour. You get to see the cathedral too. But then you go to a gingerbread shop. You go to a cheese shop. You go to a a, a bar and have lunch with the, the, the famous local dish called Flamakuken. It's a it's a flat bread with onions and cheese and they they put a, a they put an alcohol in there and, and 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 it catches on fire. It flames up. It's really incredible. And then there's a wine tasting. Um, there's a bakery. There's a pastry shop. You have macaroons. So just don't do what I did. I had breakfast, a full breakfast before I went on this walking eating tour. I felt like Santa Claus when I finished. So Taste the best of Alsace. That's the name of the excursion. It's offered on our Ryan cruises uh, in Strasbourg, France. So I am out of time. I know there are a lot more questions, and I apologize that I haven't gotten to those. But give the Cruise Web folks a call, 1-800-377-9383. They'll be glad to, uh, again, price anything that you'd like. Uh, if you want to hear more information about the different stateroom choices, dates of travel and all of that. We'd love to have you still with us and thank you so much for tuning in and thank you to the Cruise Web for having me.